Let's see now the so-called continuous knots. They are used very frequently and they help us keep an appropriate tension on the tissue. A continuous knot consists of two basic knots with the middle finger plus one basic knot with the index finger or of two basic knots with the index finger plus one basic knot with the middle finger. We will start by making the knots with the right hand. We cross the ends, leaving at the bottom the end that we will handle with the right hand. The left hand just holds the thread perpendicular to the tissue and keeps the tension, which should not be excessive. The right hand is the one that will do all the knotting. We take the end of the thread between the index finger and the thumb. We turn the wrist. We push the thread with the little finger. And with the middle finger, we pass the other end of the thread and we pull it with the help of the ring finger. We keep pulling with the middle finger and the thumb, thus forming the knot, which we lower and tighten. The next step will be the repetition of this type of knot. Unlike the basic knot, in which the second knot is crossed, here we repeat the same knot. Finally, to fix the knot, we make a basic knot with the index finger. In this way, we will have made two basic knots with the middle finger plus one basic knot with the index finger, thus forming a continuous knot. Then, we complete the knotting by adding an alternating knot until necessary, depending on the type of tissue and suture. Continuous knot left hand. We cross the ends of the thread, leaving at the bottom the one that we will handle with the left hand. The right hand just holds the thread perpendicular to the tissue and keeps the tension, which should not be excessive. The left hand will be the one that will do all the knotting. We take the end of the thread between the index finger and the thumb. We turn the wrist. We push the thread with the little finger. And, with the middle finger, we pass the other end of the thread. And we pull it with the help of the right finger. We keep pulling with the middle finger and the thumb. Thus forming the knot, which we lower and tighten with the index finger so that it's completely flat on the tissue. The next step will be the repetition of this type of knot. Unlike the basic knot, in which the second knot is crossed, here we repeat the same knot. Finally, to fix the knot, we make a basic knot with the index finger. In this way, we will have made two basic knots with the middle finger plus one basic knot with the index finger. Then, we complete the knotting by adding an alternating knot until necessary, depending on the type of tissue and suture.